beautiful people and welcome in today's video we are talking about arithmetic sequences as always disclaimer if i make a mistake in this video please let me know where it occurs so that way we both can learn from my mistake now what is an arithmetic sequence an arithmetic sequence is a sequence in which the difference between any two consecutive terms is a constant now what the heck does that mean that means if you have a list of numbers for example, if you have a list of numbers, 1, 5, 9, 13, comma, dot, 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 this list continues with a dot, dot, dot. If you have just a simple list of numbers, the list of numbers is called a sequence because it follows a pattern, follows an order, and that sequence is arithmetic if the difference between the two numbers is common or the same. So that jumps into our next term, and that is common difference. Now, in our formula, common difference is going to be a lowercase d. So anytime you see a lowercase d, that means it's common difference. Now, what is the common difference? Common difference is if you take your list of numbers. Here's my list of numbers again. And I was to take each number and subtract. For example, if this is, we take these two and we subtract. But we subtract always right from left. So we do right minus left. So that means I do 5 minus 1. That is 4. Now I do the next two numbers. What I mean is now we do 5 and 9. 5 and 9, we do the right minus the left, so 9 minus 5 is 9 minus 5, that is 4, again. And then the third one we do is 9 and 13. 9 and 13, 13 minus 9, is that 4? Yes, it is. So if we have all of these numbers the same, our difference, if all of that is the same, that means we have a common difference. of four. Now, I personally don't like to subtract that way. I'm going to show you a different way of doing it in our next example. Now, let's go ahead and define, give a formal definition for the common difference. Common difference is the numerical, the number difference. And again, lowercase d between any two consecutive terms. Now, consecutive just means that the numbers come one right after the other. For example, A, B, C, D are consecutive letters. One, two, three, four, five are consecutive numbers. Since we are listing these numbers, one, five, nine, thirteen are all consecutive numbers. They go one right after the other. All right, let's go ahead. I promised you another example. Let's do another example to find the common difference. And let's do one that's negative 5, negative 8, negative 11, and negative 14. Now, what I like to do to find my common difference is I ask myself a question. Now, my question is, what needs to happen? to get to my next term. So what needs to happen to get to my next term? I'm at negative five and I am needing to go to negative eight. So here's a number line just to give you an idea. One, two, three, four, five. Here's negative five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So here's negative 10 right here. So negative eight is this one. Negative 5 is this one. So what needs to happen from negative 5 to get to negative 8? Well, I need to go to the left. 1, 2, 3 jumps. So I need to go to the left. 3 jumps. Now I am at negative 8. Where do I need to go? Negative 11 is right here. What do I need to do? Well, I need to continue. 1, 2, 3. I need to go negative 3 jumps again. 
So ask yourself the question, what needs to happen to get to my next term? Now, one thing I want to mention is that for the common difference, you must have the difference be common. So what I mean by that is all of these minus threes, that's your common difference. If I was to do the last one the way that we did our first example, I would take my right minus my left. So I have negative 14 minus negative 11. Always put that in parentheses. Two negatives make a positive. So I have negative 14 plus 11, and that is negative 3. So if one of them ends up being not the same, and we'll do another example right now where it's not the same, that means your sequence is not arithmetic and you don't do anything with it. Make sure that you're always checking for the common difference before you do any other work, because if it's not an arithmetic sequence, then you just write not arithmetic and you move on to the next question. Save yourself some time. So let's do a not arithmetic example. One, three, five, eight. So take your right minus your left, or how do I get from one to three? I have to add two. How do I get from three to five? I have to three, four, five, add two. So far, so good. How do I get to five from eight? Five to eight, five, six, seven, eight plus three. Do you see how they're not the same? They are not the same. Therefore, this sequence is not arithmetic. And that is your answer. You, you stop doing everything. You just write not arithmetic and you move on to the next question. All right. So now let's talk about formulas. So a formula for an arithmetic sequence is as such. The nth term of an arithmetic sequence can be found using the following formula. This is called the explicit formula or explicit rule. And that is A sub N, so you have an A with a little N on the bottom is equal to the common difference times n minus 1 plus a sub 1. And I'm going to explain what this means. a sub 1 is your first number of the sequence. We know that D is your common difference. A sub N is what you're solving for. And then the last one we have is N, N right here, and this N is the position number. Now notice that the position number, this N also matches with this N right here. So both of them need to match. You're solving for this, you're solving for the number in that position. So let's actually do an example of a list of numbers. Okay, so the first number that you write down, the first number that you see, that is in the first position. That is A sub 1. 13 is in the second position. That is A sub 2. 
So if you follow the pattern, this is in the third position. That is A sub three. This is in the fourth position. This is A sub four. So if you want A sub three, so let's see, let's say a question is asking you, what is A sub three equal to? And you can say A sub three, so they're asking you, what is the value in the third position? The value in the third position is 19. Let's do another one. What is the value? What is the value of A sub four? So this is asking you what is in a what is in the fourth position? The value in the fourth position is 25. So in our equation, we want the value in the first position. So what is in the first position? A sub one is seven. Now D is the common difference. Remember D is asking you, how do I get from seven to 13, 13 to 19, 19 to 25, what happens? Or you can take your right minus your left. So I can do 13 minus seven and get an answer of seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, which is six. So from seven to 13, I have to add six. From 13 to 19, I add six again. And from 19 to 25, I add six again. If one of these are different, that means you do not have a common difference and therefore you stop, you do not continue. So let's go ahead and write a rule for this sequence. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you steps. Step number one is you want to check if the sequence is arithmetic. And how do you check if something is ar arithmetic? By finding, by checking the common difference. If you have a common difference, if all of these numbers right here are the same, then you do have a common difference and it is arithmetic. If the numbers are different, or if you have just one different number, that means it is not arithmetic and you stop. There is no rule. So check if the sequence is arithmetic by checking the common difference. Step number two. So if it is, then you continue to number two. Find out what the common difference is. So we wanna know what the common difference is. Step number three is we want to identify the value, or you can say the number, in the first position. Identify the value in the first position. Step number four, plug into, let's do write our formula. or it's gonna be the explicit rule. Step five, you're gonna substitute for D, which is the common difference, and A sub one, which is your first position. So this is A sub one, and this is D. Step number six, I'm running out of room. Step number six, is you're going to distribute the common difference and combine like terms. Okay, so these are your steps. Pause this video right now if you need to, some, some more time to write these out, and then we're gonna do an example. Let's actually start, keep, keep the example that we originally had. So this is the example we had. We had seven, 13, 19, 25, comma, dot, dot, dot. Now this comma, dot, dot, dot means that the sequence continues. It doesn't stop. 
All right, so step number one, check if the sequence is arithmetic by checking common difference. We already did that. I'm just going to rewrite it. This is plus six. This is plus six. This is plus six. So step number one or step number two is we get our common difference. So that technically was that number two. So step number one, yes, arithmetic. Step number two, let me actually change this to a pen so you can see. We want our common difference. Common difference is positive six. Step number three, it's asking us to identify the number in the first position. So in the first position, here's first position, we have seven. Step number four, write out the formula. So the formula is A sub N, A little n, is equal to D, parenthesis, n minus 1, parenthesis, plus a little 1. Step number 5, substitute in for d. So I'm going to change out d. I'm going to change out a sub 1. So a sub everything else stays the same. d is 6. a is positive 6 or just Oh, just kidding. Seven. Did you guys see that? I hope you caught that mistake before I did. Seven. Step number six is distribute. Distribute the common uh, difference and combine like terms. So again, we're keeping that. So we're going to distribute this. So we're going to multiply out. So what do I have? I have 6 times n minus 6 times 1. And then I have my plus 7. 6 times n is 6n. 6 times 1 is 6. I have plus 7 here. So combine like terms. I have 6n is e, just kidding, 6n plus 1. And I bring down my a sub n. This right here, after you simplify, this is your explicit rule for the given arithmetic sequence. Okay, that is the given rule. Now, once you have this rule, Once you have this rule, you can use this rule to find the value or the number in any position. So if I wanted to find out if I continue, so this is first position, second position, third position, fourth position. I continue. If I wanted to find out, hey, what is in the 12th position? I'm going to take my 12, because that's my position number. Here's my position number. Position number, position number, position number, position number. So I want to know what the value is in the 12th position. So I'm going to bring this down. I'm going to copy down my rule. So here's my rule. A sub n is equal to 6n plus 1. That's my rule. And n is my position number. So I want to find a sub 12 is equal to 6, 12 plus 1. I'm going to substitute in for n. Now a sub and this right here is the value or your answer. This right here is your position number. So what you're going to do is you're going to simplify. So 6 times 12 is what? 6 times 11 is 66 plus another 6. That is 72. I'm going to bring down my plus 1. So I have 73. So in my... 12th position, I have 
73. So if I was to continue that pattern in my 12th position would be the number 73. All right, beautiful people. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Like, share, subscribe. And thank you so much for spending your time with me.